Hello, my name's Maggie. Today we're going to be doing a top five today, and I haven't seen you in forever, so hi. It's been a long time. I am sick. I've been sick for the last few days. I'm now just getting over it, so please bear with me. You're welcome, and goodbye. So, I'm going to be talking about underrated books today, and I have five of them, obviously, top five. Um, but yeah, the first one, I love this person. I literally read her two books, but she has more than two books that you can literally read. She's also a YouTuber, and, well, not really a YouTuber, but she's a booktuber, which is basically the same thing. Uh, but yeah, she has written a lot of things, not really a lot, but a few books that have come out while on booktube and before booktube and whatever, but I'm talking about Jen Campbell. And her weird things customers say in bookshops. And I read that in my phone. So, what does that tell you? Yeah. So, uh, I read this book and the sequel, More, Th More Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> but I literally read these and I literally thought that they were so funny. And yet, I think that some people are literally just like a bit dumb. At the same time, because I'm like, you would never expect that to happen. Like, you know. But I literally just love this book and the sequel. I literally need to read more from Jen because I love her. And I will link her channel down below. So, bye. Um, this next book I read four years ago, I want to say. And... I didn't even read it in summer, and this is basically a contemporary about summer. And it's obviously This Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. She also wrote another book by with um somebody else. I forget what the title is or the other author. But I literally think that this is an underrated book. It's obviously a trilogy. I read all three books, loved them. Um... But yeah, I literally think they're just really underrated because she's also known for To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy and the other trilogy or series or whatever you want to call it with the other author, blah, 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 whatever. And it's just really underrated to me. So, yeah. I also still need to read uh, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. So, comment down below saying I need to read that. <laughs> um... Uh, these next two books are by the same author, but I have read one series completely, uh, but yeah, I literally need to get, um, to read on the two books that I need to read in the other series that I've yet to even finish, so, yeah, uh, the first one is Dark Secrets by Elizabeth Chandler, and I read this completely, like, I read the whole series, I loved it, uh, you, people need to read all these books I'm can, that I'm talking about, and, um, the one that I have for this one is, I have two omnibuses, which is, like, two books in one, I want to say, um, yeah, kind of thing, and also the fifth book, too, but that's not two books in one, that's just one book, um, but yeah, I literally just loved this book and the second book too as well. And, um, her other series, Kiss by an Angel, I've, I have all the books. I just need to read five and six. Um, but yeah, I need to reread the series and then continue on with the fifth and sixth book, obviously. But she's really underrated. I've never talked to, any, I've never heard anyone talk about this author on literally any booktube channel or literally anything related to booktube or books for that matter but i really recommend her i love her her writing and such and i literally just love this author that i literally just need to read the rest of this series because i've already i've already finished the dark secret series i literally need to continue with this uh series so obviously yes uh, read it. You're welcome. So, there you go. Um, this last author I literally read, I'm gonna say four year, years ago as well. Um, I didn't really like this book as much because I thought that it was gonna be about dogs. 
and the cover was kind of like misleading and the synopsis was kind of misleading as well kind of but I'm also like it was still a good book either way so yeah it's now and then by Jacqueline Sheehan um yeah my book is obviously really messed up because I literally took a lot took took a long time to read it so there you go um I thought it was still good whether or not um they didn't really have an appearance for the dog until I want to say really late in the game so or really late in the book so I mean I think I only also bought it because of there was a dog on the cover so oh well <laughs> it's my own fault but I read it anyway so but I really let I really liked this author her writing and such so I really recommend it either way so I guess that's it for my top five underrated books so I guess that's it so I will definitely see you next time goodbye